In this video, we're going to go over a momentum FRQ for AP Physics 1. A student has a cart of mass MC and a block of mass 1 over 5 MC as shown in figure 1. At time t equals 0, the cart is moving to the right across a horizontal surface with constant speed VC and the student releases the block from rest. At t equals t1, the block collides with and sticks to the top of the cart. The block does not slide on the cart. At t equals t2, the block cart system continues to move to the right with constant speed Vf. Part A. On the axes shown in figure 2, sketch a graph of the magnitude Px of the x component of the momentum of the block cart system as a function of t from t equals 0 until t is greater than t2. Before we sketch the momentum graph, let's take a look at the mass cart system as it's moving towards the right. So initially the cart moving to the right is moving at constant speed and it's going in a straight line so it has constant velocity. So its momentum is constant and the block has no uh, momentum horizontally because it's not moving left or right. And then the block is dropped and although the block slows down the cart and the cart but the cart also speeds up the block uh, and because there's no external net forces uh, the momentum of the cart block uh, stays the same and then afterwards the cart block has the same momentum because there's no external net forces horizontally so throughout this whole situation there's no external net forces horizontally so the momentum of the cart block system should stay the same. So on our momentum uh, time graph, we have a horizontal line indicating that the block cart system is constant throughout the whole time. 2i says derive an expression for the speed vf of the block cart system after time t equals t2 in terms of mc, vc, and physical constants as appropriate. Begin your derivation by writing a fundamental physics principle or an equation from the reference information. Uh, so because there's no external net force horizontally, uh, we know that momentum is conserved. So that is our physics principle that we're starting off with. And we're going to write PI equals PF. This just means that the total initial momentum equals the total final momentum. And the initial momentum is just the momentum of the cart because the block is not moving horizontally. And the cart's mass is MC. Its velocity is VC. So its momentum is MCVC. Uh, at T equals 2 at t equals t2 uh, the total mass is the block and the cart so we're going to write mc plus 1 over 5 mc all of that in parentheses times vf which is the final velocity of the block cart system notice that the m's cancel out and if we solve for v vf we get 5 over 6 vc 3i, derive an expression for the change in the kinetic energy delta k in the block cart system from t equals 0 to t equals t2 in terms of mc, vc, and physical constants as appropriate. Begin your derivation by writing a fundamental physics principle or an equation from the reference information. Since we're dealing with kinetic energy, we're going to need to know the kinetic energy equation, which is k equals 1 over 2 mv squared. And we're looking for delta K, which is equal to the final kinetic energy minus the initial kinetic energy. The final kinetic energy occurs when T equals T2. And at T equals T2, both the block and the cart are moving. So both of them contributes to the kinetic energy of the system. So the final kinetic energy is 1 over 2 times 6 over 5 MC. Now this right here is the total mass of the system times VF squared. And now we're going to subtract the initial kinetic energy from the final kinetic energy. The initial kinetic energy is just the kinetic energy of the cart because the block is not moving. And the kinetic energy of the cart is 1 over 2 MCVC squared. Next, we're going to multiply these two fractions, 1 over 2 times 6 over 5, and we get 6 over 10. We're also going to substitute the VF, which we derived earlier, to be equal to 5 over 6 VC. Now, the next step is to uh, square this, and we've got to be very careful that we're going to square both the 5 over 6 and also the VC. And when we square that, we get 25 over 36 VC squared. And then the next step we're going to do is we're going to multiply these two fractions, 6 over 10 times 25 over 36. When we multiply these two and then reduce, we get 5 over 12. Uh, we need to have common denominators here to um, combine these two fractions, to subtract these two fractions. So um, the common denominator is 12. So we're going to multiply 6 on the top and the bottom, and we get 6 over 12.
And so we're left with 5 over 12 MCVC squared minus 6 over 12 MCVC. And since 5 over 12 minus 6 over 12 is negative 1 over 12, our final answer is negative 1 over 12 MCVC squared. Part B. Consider the case where a new block is dropped and collides with the top of the cart. The new block slides along the cart during the collision, but does not slide off the cart. The time interval from when the new block collides with the cart and moves together with the cart is delta t. During delta t, there is a frictional force between the new block and the cart. Indicate whether the x component of the momentum of the new block cart system increases, decreases, or remains constant during delta t. So the difference here is that the block is sliding on the cart, however, and that there is frictional forces. Um, however, there's still no external net force on the block cart system. So if that's the case, momentum is still conserved. Now you might be wondering about the frictional force. Wouldn't that change the momentum? And the answer is no, because the frictional force here is an internal force, and our system is the block and the cart. And so the block and the cart will exchange momentum. The cart's going to slow down, the block's going to go faster, and they're going to exert an impulse on each other, but that impulse is going to be equal but opposite in the opposite direction. So J here is the symbol for impulse. So this is saying that the impulse of block B on the cart is equal to the negative impulse of the cart on the B, just meaning that the magnitude will be the same. However, the uh, direction will be in opposite directions.